Hey everyone, Deadbine here. Welcome back to Super Flat Challenge. I almost said Hardcore Tarkov and Sky Vault simultaneously. Um, <laughs> we need to get snow. Yeah, so we got to go build up a big platform, among other things. Uh, AFK Fish, we'll show that off. We got some stuff to buy here, but yeah, we're going to build a nice platform. We'll see you in the episode. Okay, so. Good. We have... A skill point to spend. Fortunately, we found cocoa beans. That was actually a big deal. Because then we'd have to, like, find a um, a wandering trader that would sell that. And that would have been rough. <laughs> that would have been really rough. We have that. We don't have much more iron. So we're going to have to kill some golems on the way. Iron golems on the way. Um, and then we got to get snow, of course. I think we did... We did oh, man, this is, this is the problem with playing a bunch of early game things. I, I, keep, I think I'm confusing... This world, as a world, we got a snowball tin. Maybe we didn't, but it feels like I did. And I like, oh man, I'm kicking myself for not picking up snow, but I, there's a chance I didn't. There's a chance I didn't. Um, also in the market last night when I was AFK fishing, I picked up this chest plate because nice. And we're gonna pick up that repair core because also nice. Uh, but let's see if this chest plate kicks off our legendary. I mean, rare plus could have a bunch of great stats, you know. It could also be kind of garbage. <laughs> That's really bad. What about the armor preset? Oh, no. We're waiting for 16 for the armor presets to go up. So, yeah. All right. Fair enough. Into the trash pile. All right. So, um, let's go show off the AFK fishing. Just hit my phone. And thanks for tuning in, YouTube. Uh, liking and subscribing is always helpful. Always, always helpful. So... We did not get any ink, which is what I'm concerned about, but it's a very, very low percent chance. So we're gonna we're gonna AFK fish again tonight. I gotta expand the storage here. Um But we are gonna AFK fish tonight. What I might do is leave this thing filled and then have a backpack be picking up all of these things. Um hopefully we get to a tier two stack upgrade and maybe pouch two. So that they'll be able to handle all this. Um, and then we could have a void upgrade in that backpack. That just like kind of deletes certain things. Like the fishing rods and the leather boots for sure. The water bottles are nice. But we have glass. So I'm not really too concerned about that. Um, but yeah. If you, were, if you were looking to get water bottle prior to. You know a glass bottle in like sky vaults. Prior to getting into your vault. And you have the other two items. Needed to craft a potion. You can fish for it. So if you don't have sand yet. You can fish for it. Um, planted some trees. Just trying to get our resources going here. But I don't want to put this big platform near our base. I think I'm going to put it near our old base. Just so we have an idea, which, yes, is east. Because I want it to be relatively close, but not super close. And then my, my clever idea here, which you'll see in a second... Is I'm going to build the ladder out of gravel. Uh, wrong backpack. We're going to build the ladder out of gravel. Or like build up with gravel. Because later on I can take it down much easier. You know. I still want to have a ladder available to us. But yeah. Later on we'll, we'll be able to take that down much easier. I know I have my, my lights on. But I do want to give this also. A... A little bit of a, almost like a tree skirt for your Christmas tree. Of just uh, the ability to jump off and land in water, you know, some sort of ability. And we'll build the uh, we'll build the actual platform this way. So this is this is meant to be effective, not pretty, which is I think a okay. But we're we're shooting, so we're Y sixty five. We just passed sixty five right there. Um, We'll be shooting to go to Y. I believe Taiga is like just under 200 for snow. We have to wait for it to rain, unfortunately. But yeah, we're going to go Y 200-ish and uh, yeah, get a platform built. All right, here it is at 220. Just to be safe. I, I, I know it's probably good enough, but yeah. All right, let's do this. And I am going to use full blocks here. 
to build my ice platform. That's what we're going to do is we're going to build an ice platform and a snow platform. And I really didn't bring... Hmm. Oh, I did bring torches. Look at me go. <laughs> I did not purposefully bring torches with me. <laughs> but, yeah, here we are. So, this is, this is going to be a good tutorial for those who don't know a good effective manual ice farm. This is this is quite good for this. Um, we did this in our other Sky Vaults world. So, basically, I'm just going to build a giant platform with a one high barrier as kind of like a fence around it. And then I'll show you the pattern of half slabs to put into it that'll keep it um, continually formed with ice. Or, like, make sure your water doesn't go away, but then you can... But it also has the most blocks around to form the ice with. Um, so it's the fastest. Um, and doesn't require too much AFK time. So good stuff. I'm going to finish up this platform. And uh, we will see for the build. Okay, so here we have the platform. But another cool trick I want to show you. if you because Because of Quark, you can just right-click on a ladder. And it places underneath of it. I believe this is a Quark feature. I could be wrong on that. Just a convenience of life thing. You can build it all the way down. I think we have enough ladders. We might be close. I mean, this is just to get back up. I might be just flying up to here. This is just a... I like to have a fail safe. On case we lose our elytra for whatever reason. Or, what you know, whatever reason it is. Uh, okay, we may have... We might be short a few ladders there. But you can do this. This is also... You can build downwards this way with ladders. Um, in Skyblocks, if you didn't know. Um, so you can, you can, you can go down pretty quick. Um, especially if you have a place to put it on. So what I like to do in Skyblocks is make a f piece of flowing lava all the way to bedrock and let, it takes time for it to flow down to bedrock and then put some water next to it. It makes cobblestone and then you can build ladders on it or, or whatever you need to do to just, you know, head downwards. Um, I really enjoy that. Especially if you do one block and then the lava flows over in these two. If you remove the top lava block and put the water in the middle, it makes a tube all the way down. So you don't accidentally fall off. And then you can put the ladders in the middle of the tube. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, I think that works pretty well. Yeah. So what we're going to do here is one, I got to go get more water. And two, I got to go get more of this because we need to... Um, the next part of this is making slabs. And then the idea is basically you just start at a corner here. And you just make zig this zigzag pattern, which we actually we're going to be super close to having enough here. I don't have any water on me still, but we're going to be really close to having enough here. Okay, and then, then well, we're going to want more wood anyway. And then the idea is to make this this platform as long as where this goes to the corner. And then you put water sources on all of these, and it will always refill, but these will never become ice. So that's the really cool part about that. But I'm going to go refresh my resources. Um, maybe even get different torches. I don't know. Because torches do stop ice, I think. In some capacity. So we might need to use something different from there. But I also don't want mobs to spawn, so I don't really know. We will see, but I'm going to go grab some more wood. All right, I just, I paused because this is a really cool view here. We're, we're flying back after getting our resources. Look at that. <laughs> In all of its glory. Nice. And we we are short a few ladders there. I really need to get some rockets going. We really need to get sugar cane. This is going to take a second to get back up. <laughs> now, the ladder may actually be faster here. I missed it. All right, fair. I'm trying to hold shift on it. Hey, Primarin. Hey, Cyan. All right. Well, I think I'm going to make some ladders and we'll just ladder up. <laughs> so I, wa I wasn't too far off here. I wasn't too far off here. We were only short by like two there. But instead of doing math, I, I opted to just, you know, build it and adjust on the fly. Um... Also, a smart chatter pointed out that we don't really need a torch. We just, with the, well, no, things can't spawn on ice. Yeah. Or in water. We just need to half slab this and then mobs can't spawn. And then that way we don't, you know, lose ice based on 
too much heat in the torches. Because when I did this in my Sky Vaults world, uh, we had mega torches unlocked at that point. I just slapped one down and didn't even think about it. You know, didn't need, didn't need to think about it. Um, so, but yeah, that'll work nice. All right, there it is. Slabbed off. And now all you need to do is just... Um, water source every one of these now you have to manually do the the half slabs but once they're once they're manually done they will always refill the entirety of the uh of the the rectangle which is super super convenient this is this is a nil mango math video i watched a while back that we kind of remember doing when we were playing Sky Vaults. Keep on keeping on. Hey, Kane Boa, thank you so much for 61 months in that moot. That is such epic support. It is these five-year subs. Hey, look at that. We got ice. Beautiful. Um, these five-year plus subs are just why we're here. We are where we are today, and I really appreciate that. And all the new subs and resubs coming in are are why we can keep going. So thank you so much, Kane Boa. And uh, let's get some love and hype in the chat, please. Cheers. So, um, I should have brought my fishing rod with me. That was a mistake. Because I should 100% fish in this while we wait for it to snow. We gotta wait for it to snow. I have not slept, and we need snow to... I, I don't need that much snow. We just need eight snowballs, and we can make a snowman. We're in a cold biome. We have the pumpkins. And we'll have infinite snow at our base. And then this will just be the this will just be our ice farm. And then um yeah. Wait, we're near another golden kappa train? What is this luck? Hello? Holy smokes. But so I'm gonna chill with I'm gonna chill out with Twitch chat and hopefully we get some rain, because we do need that snow. And then there's a few other things we can work on while waiting for the rain here, but um Yeah. I will uh Capitrain get you that. high pine tree. Okay, so Besides just getting lucky with the rain, um, this is where the ice is. And look, we can do vein mine it. And look, it just it just replenishes itself. Beautiful. It's really, really convenient. And it's such a simple, such a simple thing. And with like big vein miner, like if you have 64 vein miner and a good magnet, it takes no time at all. Um, so funny enough, I actually it looks already reforming. Love it. In my Sky Vaults world, for those who haven't watched that series, um, I did this out of unobtainium, so I didn't accidentally vade mine the stuff that was, you know, holding everything in place. Let's look at that. Four, three, three stacks of ice from this one thing. It's pretty good. And that did not take long at all. That was, you know, that was a couple minutes. Um, so if you made this platform in your, around your main area and they made it look, look nice so that they... It wouldn't like be an you know an obtrusive thing in the sky. This would be loaded and would just form. So every time you go up there, it would be there. This might be far enough away from our base where it's not loaded. Um, so yeah. But as it stands, I um I'm just gonna fish here with Twitch chat because oh geez. Because we um I need snow. So hopefully we'll get some snow soon. All right, no snow yet. No snow yet. It's been like three, maybe four days in Minecraft, but uh, we're going to go head home, and I think we're going to go spend our knowledge point and use said knowledge point on storage, I think, and get some basic storage systems set up here. Ah, uh, man, I feel like we're outgrowing this hut a little bit, but uh, maybe not, actually, because what we can do is just bury all the chests, make a, you know, make a quick little basement area here, put the chest down there, and I think I want this hut to get us to refined storage. I think that's my goal with this hut is we're going to do everything we can in it until refined storage. And then once we have refined storage, that's when we're going to build our main base with a power system and non-wooden design and all that kind of stuff that will, you know, maybe have even have more of these gilded and ornate ingots to work with, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to grab a bunch of chests we're gonna farm out a bunch of chests here with twitch chat we're hoping for rain that's what we're hoping for um and once we once we get rain well, we're gonna dash all the way back to our uh our tower there and just try to get that snow going but for now let's um 
I'm just gonna build out a little section. In fact, I'm even gonna use this as our connector. And we're just gonna build out a little section of our, underneath our base here to, to put a bunch of chests. And once we have those chests going, we can um, connect them all up via simple storage, hopefully. So yeah, anyway, just wanted to let you know what we're doing to, I don't know, not waste time, that's the wrong word, but to, to kill some time here while we wait for snow, because I really want to get into a vault this episode. Um, so yeah, hopefully that'll happen soon. It took me a second. I literally started this. I'm not like, this is how far we got into digging this out and it's raining. Classic Minecraft. That is such classic Minecraft. Um, all right. I need my fortune shovel or a shovel. doesn't matter. And we can go get some snow. Uh, east, right? Yep. East. All right, good. We still may work on this uh, storage thing because it'll make it a lot easier to put stuff away with a, with a proper storage. Yeah, just make it a room for simple storage stuff. Okay. Um, I am going to take the ladder. I think it actually does save us time because it's just it's ho so hard to gain enough height without... Um, it's so hard to gain enough height without um, rockets to get, to get all the way up there, so... All right, here it is. All the snow in its glory. Two. We need we need eight total here. We'll just um. We're just gonna clear some of this to uh. Because I do not want it to stop snowing randomly before I have eight. You know. That would be really awkward. Okay, six. Seven, eight, nice. Let's try to get let's try to get the twelve we need as well. And then we'll set up we'll set up the um the snow golem infinite infinite source in our basement area that we're about to make. But I, I would I would like to get the twelve for our you know, so we need what, twenty total? And that would be good. All right, there's 21, 22, 23. I will take it. All right, good stuff. See you back at the base. All right. There's our basement area. Uh, and we're just going to put a big row of chests here. I just got to gather all the wood to grab that. Um, dang. With zero auto renew. It's still wild to me, Dom and I, that you don't have auto renew and you've subbed for 112 months. It means you've been here once a month for every 112 months. That's wild. That is absolutely wild. Let's get some love and hype in the chat, please. For some epic, epic support. Mm. Also, sub number 40 today, which triggered our fifth set of fireworks, which is amazing, for epic support. Really, really helping us... Uh, Meet our averages, you know? Thank you, thank you, everybody. So, yeah. How many do we have here? I want, like... I mean, that's that's 16 ch chests, plus all of these. Uh, which is 22. So that's not, like, 32-ish. That's probably enough. We have a lot of empty space in these as well, which is nice. That might be enough for now. I think I want to double that, though. And then we can look up at simple storage. I gotta make sure we have the all the stuff to craft these with. We should. Yeah, it's glass plus that. We only need one of those. We only need one. Oh, we need to get some quartz going, but that we can get from the masons. And then this is not terribly difficult either. Okay, so we just need to get a bunch of sand going here for all the glass. Which, funny enough, I just used all of my to mine some sand out. I might give that a floor down there and then just mine the sand out from underneath of that. That doesn't sound like a terrible idea. Just to keep experimenting with this color scheme here. We can do this. I think I might do like perimeter of this. Because this doesn't need to be this tall. Yeah, I think I might do perimeter of this. And then some sort of interior with the other one. We 
Maybe we'll just do this. Keep it simple, you know? Keep it real simple. Yeah. All right, real simple, real simple. Just put these in this, although they might be blocking some of the spots. Beautiful. And by beautiful, I mean obviously horrendous. Super, super gross. Um, I would like to be able to open all the chests that we want to open here. So we'll do four. So this will be four by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Does that be 36 double chests? Maybe we will do the top row. Oops. Oh, that should probably be enough, though. Not sure which one's harder to do. Like, I'm not sure which one of these is harder to do. Hmm. That'll probably be enough. And the I uh, was correct. These are going to be in the way. Uh, so maybe we'll do. Maybe we'll just do this instead. Oh, these keep going into this bag. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right, yeah, that'll that'll keep it lit. We can put these two in the back corner here. All right, yeah, so we'll have um, a nice... We'll get all these chests going, and then we'll uh, unlock the mod. Maybe have to uh, break up some Laramar, and then we'll have uh, Simple Storage. Nice. Okay, here we go, YouTube. Here we go. We're going to break up some Laramar, see what we get. Another 45. That's not terrible. We have, we have quite a bit, though, I think. Yeah, we had seven compressed in this. That is not terrible at all. Uh, we have a lot of chromatic iron, right? Yep, we sure do. Let's get our knowledge star on. Let's go ahead and pop on simple storage. I think it's just worth the point. It doesn't make these more expensive, you know? And I think it's just totally worth that point. Same with the storage doors. Doesn't make this more expensive later on. So I think this is just totally worthwhile. Totally worthwhile. So what you need for simple storage? You need network cables. You need inventory. You need a route. And you need link cables. That's the four things you need. That's it. Simple as that. I need a lot of glass as well. So we actually went and mined out a little bit of glass down below and got it cooking. So we're going to just grab a bunch of glass here and get this thing going. So network cables. Uh, maybe not that many. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, and I need those, right? We're going to need steel. We only need one of those, one of those. Oh, we got to go trade for some quartz as well. So shouldn't be a problem. But it's also we can sleep now. We don't need snow anymore. But let's get the link cables going, and I'll show you guys how to... I mean, it's very straightforward. For a lot of you have seen this before or know about this, but for those who don't, you know, it's not everybody. Let's get our driftwood here. Okay, and then you... So we need one per chest. We have 36, so we'll make a stack of these. That seems about right to me. And then you just shift right-click on it onto the chests. Now, I could add another row of chests on top. They don't need... The chests don't need to be openable in order to connect them to the network. But, yeah. And then you can also connect these to storage doors or storage door controller. Uh, that works nicely as well. Okay, so this will be center here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to... That's probably where we're, that's going to go. And then we're going to do... Probably up by one, and then we'll connect it that way. So that's where we'll put the actual crafting, and then here is where we'll put the root, because the root has to be connected to the network to form the network, air quotes. We can actually put some of these away for now, because we're, we're done with them. But I need to go get some quartz. Um, yeah, we need to get some quartz going for... The one we do have the steel right yep we got the steel let's just craft the actual let's craft this guy first you can actually craft multiples as well and we might do that for an, like an unloader later but yeah so this doesn't this doesn't form without the root oh this rotated as well oh the rare plus vault axe is kind of interesting we might buy that also the chromatic steel is pretty good too yeah might be worth um we have a bunch of this clay, but this is where getting storage drawers going would be good because this in storage drawers lets me mine the blocks and it auto converts it. But I'm basically just going to go down here and we're just going to harvest some more. 
um, clay. Clay miner is a hell of a thing. You know what I should have done with the sand? In retrospect, I'm not going to do it now, but if we ever do... Uh, I'm not going to say a restart, but if we ever do, like... Get this thing going. Um, I should do a layer of sandstone in between the sand. So it keeps it in place. So it's not this annoying thing that you have to deal with. So as long as you keep the sandstone in place, it's not going to fall on you when you're mining. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. So if you are... Yeah, like, like that. So if you are trying to make this yourself, if you just add layers of sandstone around, I would recommend that. And then we will be emerald trading here. Okay. Trying to get these guys to max. Well, they already are max. We just need some of you. Beautiful. And that's how you get your quartz. Uh, I believe compacting drawers work with those guys as well. So, like, I mean, we also have access to the full nether, so it's not a huge deal. Hiya! Did that just go right through the creeper? Because I'm pretty sure that just went right through the creeper. Oops. Hit G, not F. <laughs> Whew! Look at that snipe. Nice. <laughs> Dead pine the sniper. I didn't realize you could get that much more extra extra oomph on it with, uh, with a little jump there. That's kind of cool. All right. Tarkov skills in Minecraft. Jokes on you. I don't have Tarkov skills. Okay, so we're good to go now. Why is there an eye on the bottom of that? That's kind of funky. Um, we are good to go now. So, if we go up here, we have access to our full storage here. These can all go away here. We're basically going to be putting away a lot of our stuff in here. And it's just going to be... It just keeps it organized, you know. We're going to sort by amount, and we're going to sort this way. We're going to do JEI enabled. So there is a weird bug where if you... I'll show you. If you click on the... Yeah, if you click on the top half of the of this top row of your inventory, it puts it away. It's such an it's such an annoying bug, but it is what it is, and it's fine. All right, I'm going to put all of my stuff away. So I can... Um, besides an axe... So I can just do this. Because it's faster. And, you know, there's more chests down there than there are up here. So we know we can fit everything. Which is really nice. And we can always add more later if we need to. And then we don't need to worry about all that stuff. Just keeps it organized for us. And of course, the goal is to get to refined storage, which is not that, ex it's honestly not that expensive, but this just helps us get to that refined storage that much faster. And then we also have, we'll have more room up top here for, um, and it also stack things proper, which is really nice in the chest that they're in. Um, we'll have more room up here for, you know, our, we can spread these guys out and get like proper workstation areas if you will at some point i might separate out all the jewels and all of the uh stuff because we're we're about to build a recycler as well um so that'll be really good oh that just, those all went into my bags huh yeah should have taken off that taken out that bag that's okay but i think this is well worth the point Especially because it doesn't increase the other points. If it increased the other points of the other ones, I might try to tough it out until um, we got to refined. You know, that would be my only goal is refined. But, okay. Look at that. We are all moved down. I might mess with these positionings a little bit. And definitely with these a little bit. I think we're good to go there. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get these back on. 
And then I think we're going to go hop over to that village real quick. And, um... Which is east. And I think there was an iron golem over there. We need to get some iron going. We really should probably build an iron golem farm. I just don't feel like it, man. I don't know. You built, you built one iron golem farm, you built them all. All right. Hello, friend. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. All right. Well, that's enough for us. Of course, it's raining again after like one day of sleep. Classic. Why would it be anything else? All right. The pesky rain is gone, but we're getting attacked. Get off my lawn. Okay. We're good. All right, so now we should be able to look up snow. Did I get 26 total there? I thought we got less than that. Right, I'm just going to complete this one. There's a chance. We got to make this prior to that, but that's okay. Okay, we'll put that in there. I don't mind not having like too much extra storage in there. That'll be fine. I think I do want these somewhere, you know, positioned somewhere else. I might put this in the ground. I didn't think I was going to do that, but I think I kind of want that. Um, yeah. Get that going. And this, this works just fine. And this way we can kind of... I was going to say we can kind of look at it. I might put, end up putting this here. Because like what I like to do... Oh, let's complete this. And I'll show you what I like to do. Oh, I got to do... By that, we do rock. Or crystal. Guess we don't have any. Okay, we'll get these out. We'll get chromatic iron out. No crafting table in this. There used to be, but then it kind of like led to the why would I ever get refined storage? Right, we're absolutely doing this vault. Probably sleeping this rain away. But think of the poor iron golems. I know, right? No, I know vanilla. Iron, the vanilla farm is super easy when you can pick up villagers. I know. Let's get the oak planks out. So if you put... I'm going to put this in the floor, but we're going to put it in the floor over here. So if we do this, right, well, good thing we've been fishing a lot. If you angle it right at the top, you can keep an eye on what you need here. So I can just type in salmon, which I don't have any here, but that's okay. Diamond, and then I can just right click, well, once my magnet's off. Do that. Pumpkin. And then what was that last one? And the site. And we'll go get some salmon, of course. But like it just makes it makes making these crystals easier when I can just type in, right click it out. So I don't have to remember I don't have to remember them. And I recommend doing that. It honestly does save a lot of hassle, I would say. Okay. We do have enough for the diffuser here, so maybe we should do that. Um. Yeah, getting that going would not be the worst idea ever. We need, we're gonna need iron for the. Oh, it's black chromatic steel, huh? So it's twelve total steel. All right, how much carbon do we have? Probably a decent amount. We're halfway there already as well. Maybe we should make the recycler first. Okay. We'll probably have enough. Okay. Then we're only going to use as much as as much black opal as we need, I think. Did I put the soul pouch away? Did not, but it's probably in here. Only 57 left. Soon to be more, I'm assuming. All right, we'll do that. This does hold infinite, which is nice. So you really only need to hopper into it. 
So this is a little laggy. This is a little laggy, but you can type in hashtag soul value and it will bring up anything that has a soul value. Now you can see how laggy it is here. It's something how it parses through the chests. Couldn't tell you. What are the uses on Topaz? I think we looked them up. All right, not much. I don't really like the Topaz look. So hashtag soul. Um, that one I liked in combination with this. We don't need the soot. So we're going to have a list of things that we auto smelt at some stage. And most of it's going to be the wood. Um, and at some point, the bones as well, because they're not super useful. But for now, we'll just start with the uh, the things I don't want to build with is really the key there. And now this holds infinite, which is nice. So that is that is quite nice. Um, I might go steal the hopper from my fish farm. Because we're going to make more later. to keep it from flowing because I just I want to be able to get this going here I'm gonna make this a um a barrel I could make it a chest as well I guess but we'll make it a barrel Right, and then we'll put all these away in there. So that means we'll get our soul value back. Oh, those went into my... Absolutely went into my... Um, chest. Again, this will be cramped. But for now, I think that's okay. I might put those in the corner there as well. Okay... Definitely go into there. Okay. Good. Good. This goes into this guy. This is just our backup for whenever we're going into vaults. These are all good. Um, I did leave a few of these in here. Hashtag soul. Yeah, rotten meat we're not using. Living rock I don't feel like we're going to be using um, as well. Oh, some of them went to my bags. Sorry. Topaz and the soot. Yeah. All right. Now, these aren't worth a ton, but it, it, they add up, you know? They add up. So, I'm going to go final preps for this vault, and then we're going to hop in the vault here. Hopefully, we come out with enough soul shards for... Honestly, the axe does interest me, because if we... If we do get a legendary attack on there, they, our javelin could become very good. Um, and the chromatic steel is actually probably worthwhile as well. But um, we're going to do that, and then we're going to work on the uh, recycler, which will also need some hopper. So, yeah, maybe maybe next episode we are going to make a quick little uh, quick little iron farm. I really don't feel like it, but <laughs> I'm, feeling, I'm feeling particularly lazy today. But that's okay. But uh, I'll see if that vault YouTube. All right. So I did forget about the stack upgrades. Let's do that. Uh, you please? Because now we have the Laramar, hopefully, to do this. Yes. So we can make two of them. Uh, but the first one we're going to put into our, our back backpack and hope that that's enough. Um, it might be. And then I think the other one we're going to put into this guy. I've had a, I've had a Nyla Bear on my lap here. Might see the, might see the tail there. Okay. Well, that's good. At least you won't be scratching me now. <laughs> okay, uh, and then I think we're good to go after this. I do want to get those. We're gonna so we're gonna stop stop voiding. I think the only problem we might have is the um, the cobblestone <clears throat> at some stage. That might be might become a problem. Okay, let's see how much we have here. So this auto compresses into your shard pouch, which is super convenient. And again, the, the compress, decompress buttons work for that. What about the emeralds? Which I don't want to buy. 
by the way. Do not want to buy. I wouldn't. I want to buy the other two. We'll put those away. We'll put that away. We'll keep this here. I feel like I'm missing something, chat. Oh, I'm missing food. That's what I'm missing. Uh, so we need steak, malt steaks, and meat. I don't think we need. I think seven's going to be more than enough, but we'll um. Have that ready to go for next time. And then this is the one that doesn't... No. I want the one that doesn't have a lot of stuff in it. Yep. And we'll do it that way. Okay. I think we're going to go for this vault. I think we're going to go for this vault. Chat, you ready? I know we haven't vaulted at all today because we were held up on snow. But hopefully you guys are ready. <clears throat> and yeah. Hopefully we get some... Uh, get some good experience. Get some good. I got to keep an eye out for certain items. Uh, sugar cane being one of them. I don't know if that actually spawns in regular vaults. Could make the recycler. Not going to care about that too much right now. I do want to keep those around. Uh, we're done with the black market. All right, here we go. Good luck. Have fun. Uh, Chad never responded, so I'm just assuming that they're ready in their in their lurkvilles. All right. Well, we'll let it, we'll let it load here. We've got ourselves a only a five model at this time. So, not too bad. Uh, cave theme. Could have... Well, we already have dripstone. I don't think this is going to have anything we can't get normally. Oh, that is rough, Wasi. And having two void vaults back to back, but then no, alt, no augment. I'm multitasking! Hooray! No, that's good. Like I said, enjoy your lurks. Enjoy your lurkage. All right, here we go. Hoping for elixir because it gives more experience, but... What are you going to do? This is unfortunately basically what the, um, oh, this is an ore room? No, this is the one that looks like an ore room, but is not an ore room. Because it has, like, this POI. Um, and that's it. Oh, magnet on, please. Our new magnet would be good. We do need to get Benny for our current... Bounty, I want to say. Probably. Hey, look at that. We got the two things we need. Nice. Elixir early game is Elixir is the easiest. Later on, I think Elixir is actually quite tough. Or can be quite tough. It, it's RNG on what... Gives you the points. I see you. Rude. Oh, that means this is a uh, old school dungeon, which is good. We love those. You know what could be an interesting, um, another interesting solution to get around a lot of our problems? I think would be, like, ability to craft the, uh, spawn eggs. That could be an interesting thing as well. Oh, well, you're just a wrong type. You know what? These are worth seven iron. I guess we are, we are going to be having iron here soon. Okay, I'm going to put this into here. Oops. Perfect. Okay. Nice. We'll build up towards a uh, chest that we throw stuff away in. That is a lot of carrots. <clears throat> You have the worst stream delay? You know, I noticed I had a really bad stream delay yesterday in somebody's stream. And even refreshing didn't, like... 
Like, it, it, it became bad again. And I, I don't think it was the streamer's fault. I think, it, I think Twitch servers are having just problems. Um, for sure. Uh, also, we should have left this room for last, huh? Oh, well. Committed. No, we have a layer of tough in our overworld. Sorry, Wasi. I, I missed that. Yeah. That was partially for what we need. We need it for the crystal, but also partially I love building with the tough. So I wanted to make sure I had access to it. All right. Well, a little bit of a lame thing. West facing vault. Oh, we never spent our point, did we? Uh, let's not waste time and just pop it into that, cause I gotta, I gotta re, I gotta reconfigure everything here soon, or rather, once we, once we settle into, um, I think once we settle into, I'm just gonna keep moving on, um, our the level that we're going to stop leveling at, if that makes sense. Uh, red, welcome back. So, like, the level we start using those pearls at, I think that's when I'm going to, like, regret orb a bunch of stuff and, like, work on our build, our actual build. But for now, I'm just kind of doing whatever feels right in the moment. I think that's okay. You're not supposed to hit me. That's just rude. All right, that one was my fault. <laughs> There's a bad guy down here. Jewels are good. I think that's a smelting jewel, which is also good. Do not want to be trapped down here with the bad guys. Okay. That's never fun. Fascinating that those don't pop up. Uh, oh, that's another... Um, getting a lot of those vanilla dungeon rooms. Which is actually really good. Okay. Rude. Of a new POI for me. That's cool. <clears throat> oh, is that what it is? Gotcha. Right, let's keep going west. Uh, did we spawn these mobs in? I guess we did. Did we? Oh, we looted this already as well. Classic. All right, ornate chests are definitely a priority for the um, nether scraps and gear. We, we want gear and ore rooms are a priority, but also I would like to just finish this monolith task. No, this is not an actual ore room, just happens to have an ore POI in it. Which I'm okay with, of course.
Nice. Oh, I didn't I didn't show it off, but our um our lava cauldron farm is doing pretty well. So, I'm fairly pleased with that. Twitch has been temperamental most of the week. That's what it feels like, or at least I've heard and or seen, but, well. What are you going to do, right? Makes me more thankful for the folks who are sticking, sticking with it and hanging out, you know? Kind of just looking for, in this particular room, just looking to see if I can spot the monolith anywhere and then we're just moving on if we can't okay it's so our bounce room there's our monolith Let's just go grab that real quick it is wild to me that level one dash is just absurdly good compared to level one uh dash warp oh i thought i was i was meant to try out um ghost walk there huh I wonder what ghost mock with maximum like max value looks like just like cooldown purposes could definitely be interesting and that is one another one of my goals here is I do want to change up how I'm playing heck yeah zero given no worries do do to sleep miss it do to sleep in Sunday what a what a great day sleep in Sunday oh, there we go and some living chests as well That could be bad. That's just rude, dude. You can get to me, you just can't get to me. Let's go. Boot four mod boxes, too? Oh, baby, that was good. Let's go, dude. We already have some moss, so I'm not too worried about that. Oh, that's so sick for us. Okay, normally, I wouldn't be going down there, but there are nates, and we do need that. It's going well today uh, for the boys. <clears throat> yeah, going really well today. Um, we had to do some kind of like loose AFK farming because we needed snow to get into the next vault, but we got there. And now we're in our vault, and we just hit a champion with the with a bunch of mod boxes and such. So I'm I'm feeling pretty happy. Ow. So I'm pretty sure that was a crit. They did a crit on us. All right, so we're gonna do this. But yeah, I'm I'm feeling pretty dang good. Just pick up these. I'm pretty sure mod boxes are only from champions. Rest of these. I mean, we really need um, eggs, mystery eggs, as many as possible, so we really can't afford to skip any living chests. So now we bounce east. Hopefully we can find two more. Uh, two more. Or, and or an ore room. Or two more a monolith and, and an ore room. Coins aren't terrible either. doing work nice 
nice. I don't think nether scraps show up there. But. I mean, the other thing is we can just go to the nether. That is allowed. But that just doesn't sound fun to me right now. Yeah, living dungeons at level 20 will be pretty powerful. Right, level 20 is when dungeons start spawning. Maybe that's a reason to level up to 20 and then stop leveling. I just think the level 20 crystals can be kind of rough. So here's how it works. It's it's your level determines the type of items and your how many crystals you crafted determines the quantity of items. So that's how our altars are working. Domini with a gifted sub. Domini gifted a tier one sub to Scuppy Kate. For life, the universe, and everything, because we're at 42 subs out of 32 today. Thank you so much. So camera's off. Sorry, YouTube. Yes, I know it's off because of you. Alright. Uh, YouTube, if you want to, uh, I try to, I don't try to pause when the cat's, you know, on camera, but this episode's worked out where I've been paused every time Nyla's been around, so if you want to see Nyla, you don't have to go come check out the Twitch stream. <laughs> uh, you are just five away from the big 200, Domini. Alright, just, just that stuff, I'm not... It. Is this an ore room? No. But it does have a monolith. It does have gilded. Or er, ornate. We love to see. Nice. That is not what I meant to do. Okay, one more. I think we keep I think we keep moving on here. I don't think we need to do any of that. This is a good room once you've secured the monolith, nothing to really see here. And there's our last one. Nice. Okay. Guess we're kind of looking for an ore room. Yeah, we really need Benny. This is not, not an ore room. So not in our room, but we'll keep an eye out for like, you know, ornates and such. Chromatic iron room, which we definitely don't need. Very good in sky vaults. Not so good in this, this version of our uh, little playthrough here. get too too far away so let's go back north and then we'll go west again hit the back of our our thing is this a specialty room 
is. Okay, well. Uh, yeah, we need mystery eggs. The thing is, I don't really know how far away we are from... <clears throat> Nailed it. I don't know how far away we are from our starter room. That's also fair. Yeah, if you were in a normal if you were in a normal Sky Vaults run, you wouldn't wanna waste your time in a chromatic iron room after a vault. Uh end mods might be cool. Oh, we have access to the end though, so. Oh wow, mushrooms. And soul sand. I don't know if you need actual soul sand. We also have access to oh sorry. We have access to the nether, which will have mushrooms and soul sand. But that said, we can still just grab a bunch of this. Sweet berries we have already. Which is nice. Actually, might be a good room to put the elytra on. That also sounds like death for me. I'm so good at that. This is not the. Oh, it was this one that had the <clears throat> chests. Okay, I think that's most of down below. Problem with having a horrendous magnet. In fact, Dead Pine, you cannot jump too high. Only one mystery egg so far that I saw. There could be more, of course, that I just missed. But obviously, knowledge essence is going to be fantastic as well. Okay, I do believe we are done. Nailed it. All right, let's go west. And we're not done in the classical sense here, but I have limited time. <clears throat> and I want to make sure we get out of this vault. And I have no idea if we're in front or behind. Of our starter. This is why I need the compass. I think that's the starter. Yeah, buddy. Alright. So it's the same distance either way around, so we'll go to the north. And we'll turn left whenever we can. I could have the compass unlocked. I don't have the nether right to craft the compass, is the thing. And I could go to the nether and grind it out and such. But I think we'll be alright. Gilded area. Be trying to cruise through this. Okay. 
Alright, good. And we did kind of loot this room already. I mean, there's a minute and 48 seconds left, so we're not going to be able to do much at our current speed and, you know, looting capabilities. So, we're going to call this vault a success. And get the heck out. Holy smokes, 20,000 experience because of that last room, because of all the chests we looted. Excuse me. Dang. That is a lot of experience. Okay, let's put the junk away. Basically, considering this mostly junk. We did get two living eggs here, and that is... No, that's what I would like to be in this last slot here. Perfect. So this, this bag is set. We got three nether scrap. Which is not bad at all. Um, nine diamonds. Two, 250 something essence. That's pretty dang good as well. And will certainly, certainly help us unlock more mods. That almost maxed out the essence. For sure. Very nice. In fact, maybe we should put essence in this pouch. At some point. Because that's the overflow pouch, if you will. Okay, and then this one didn't... I mean, we didn't loot an ore room, but, like, this one only overflowed in a few places, which is good. Got a lot of coins. I'll take that. Did not mean to put those shulkers away, but here we are. Up to 342 on that. Okay. Not horrendous. I do like having the ores this way. It's nice. And this is going to go here. This is the nice part. I mean, we got Epic Plus Boots. Mod boxes. Uh, which we don't have anything. We almost want to like unlock storage drawers and just see if we get lucky. That's kind of how I feel about it. Smelting, axing, picking, wooden affinity, picking. Those are kind of meh. Uh, meh things. Um, and we do have enough for this axe. We're going to buy that axe. I think that is worth. And how we do here? I think we got some more mystery eggs. My, uh, thing. We did get another mystery egg. Let's go. We're, we should open those up and see just how far away we are. Legendary level of uh, vanilla immortality. I'll take that. Another seal. Bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. Dead <laughs> exactly by three shards. Nice. Alright. Let's do the scrappies first. See if we get anything upgraded. Got a common? Again, it's not bad, but ours is our our thing is really good. That's not terrible. Our helmet is actually our worst thing. So this would lose us two hearts, but it increases our healing efficiency, which is kind of cool. I think we're gonna say no to that, but we are on the lookout for a new helmet here. That's just meh. Our boots are definitely our best piece of gear here. So gonna be hard to beat those. Save those epic pluses for last. Squire boots. Axe looks like just a normal rare axe. Almost max um, attack damage though, so we can't get a legendary attack like you know attack roll. But because it's a rare, we could just get a normal. That one's pretty good too. So you got a, you got chaining, and then the undead damage, and then what is this doing comparatively? This one's still doing more. So even with the chaining, I'm not sure if that's worth while. We don't have conduit on our um, our guys as well. 
so. Not the axe for us, but that's okay. Okay. Hmm. It's very, very close. Honestly, that's probably better, though. It's one less armor, but we get 7% attack damage. Basically the same thing as everything else. And we get more ability power. What's up, DJ? Well, it's not only going on for a weekend, but yes, this is this challenge has been fun. And the weekend has been good as well. Hopefully yours is the same. Yeah, I think those are better. So, let's get those... Enchanted. Just feather falling. We don't need to worry about unbreaking at the moment, really. Let's just do that. Okay, and then I put some salmon in here. So we can do one, two, three. Turn that off. Do that. We're level 13, very nearly 14. So I'm going to make this a level 13 crystal, but then we're actually going to use a burger here. To uh, level up. I'm pretty sure it's going to be just one. <laughs> yep. That'll give us two points. So we're level 14. Um, I also want to see what the next vault is going to be. Totally doable. We are. We really should get that iron farm going. Um, okay. Yeah. We're leveled up now. We've got some stuff. Yeah, that could be cool, but we'll see. I really do kind of want to say, like, I think we should do two Orb of Regrets here. This is, again, a little generic here. Um, but we're going to do you go away. Uh, hmm. Maybe one level of strength goes away. We're doing a lot less damage with that. Could, we could get rid of a miner. We do have the Shatterer. It just works so well for chests, you know. I I think I'm okay to sacrifice three damage a hit for level one speed. Like this is this is a big deal for getting around the vault, you know. And we're gonna want this for our level sixteen to nineteen build. Um. So. Yeah. Okay, YouTube, not Twitch chat, YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in. That was a really, really good episode. We got a lot of stuff done. I know that that, that episode took a long time to film just because there's so much downtime waiting for, like, rain to happen. Um, but, yeah, I had a really fun time. I hope you did, too. If you are new, please drop a sub on the channel. I'd love to have you back. It really would be amazing. Um, maybe go drop a follow on the Twitch chat, you know? Hop in when you're live. If you have questions, that's the best way to ask me is when I'm live. Um, doesn't matter what game I'm playing. You can ask me any question about, you know, the games and or just stuff in general. Um, but, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Big shout out to those in the Patreon. Big, big shout out to those sharing their primes or subbing to the Twitch channel as well. That's a big way to support this content. Um, and uh, But, yeah, seriously, thanks for just watching. That's the biggest and most important. Appreciate you. We'll catch you in the next one.